What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk to you about playing it safe and locking up your silver, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also make sure to subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive silver content. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, we got a bunch of t-shirts and hoodies available, a lot of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, as well as the brand new DYDSS Military T, which is raising funds and awareness for Military with PTSD Inc., which is a nonprofit working actively to improve the lives of our veterans. Any and all merch can be found by clicking the first link in the description. Thank you in advance. But anyway, I want to talk about silver today, and the theme of today's video is to play it safe and cover all bases, or at least do your best to cover as many bases as you can in regards to your silver. And while we're on the subject, I want to tell you something very, very quick. I'm sure a majority of you know that there's a lot of problems and issues going on with YouTube behind the scenes and behind closed doors. If you don't have any clue in the world what I'm talking about, I did post a six-minute video over on my backup channel. You might want to go check that out. But it doesn't exactly seem like the future is all that bright for the creators here on the platform. YouTube as a website, as a company, will be just fine. But as for the people who are posting videos, just like the average Joes who just film something to talk or to show or to educate or to learn, the future does not look all that bright. And that's all I'm really going to say about that. So I did, or at least I'm in the process of actually uh, building my own website where all my videos will be and my merchandise will be and there will be different you know sections for you know reviews of different tools and equipment as well as a blog so everything's going to be in one spot very very soon so as soon as that website's ready to go i will share it with you but i just want to play it safe and talk to you about how i'm covering all bases in more ways than just silver but now as for silver i filmed a video a couple days ago talking about how the reason I pretty much use the same coins and bars a lot of the time when I'm filming videos as of lately is because I keep this silver in a different safe, a safe that is uh, closer and easier to access for me when I'm filming a video as opposed to going over and opening up my giant safe and carrying all my silver and gold from you know one section of the house to another. So I do think it's a good idea to have your silver, or your precious metal, I should say, kind of split up and, you know, maybe not put it all in one spot, you know, similar to everything else in life. You might not want to put all your eggs in one basket, so putting all your money in one safe, there's nothing wrong with that per se, but you might want to take into consideration maybe putting half and half, one in one safe, one in the other, maybe maybe hiding them on different floors of the house or different rooms or, I mean, if you're in the position to do so, maybe even on different properties if that's an option for you. And I have, you know, all my American Silver Eagle tubes, the ones that I have filled up, stored away in my larger safe as well as my tubes of Canadian maple leaves and a lot of the coins, rounds, and bars that have been given to me as a present, I have those locked away, and I keep some stuff in a different safe, a safe that's uh, closer to me, for the simple fact of videos. When I'm filming a video, I want to have a little bit of a selection out in front of me. Obviously, we have... American Eagles, Canadian Maple Leafs, we have some other coins, we have some bars, we have some larger denomination pieces of silver, and we have some junk silver, constitutional silver, or as I like to call them, fractional silver coins. The reason I do this is because I want a little bit of everything out in front of me. Obviously we have coins from different countries, we have generic silver, we have larger pieces of silver and we have smaller fractional pieces of silver. So when I'm filming a video, you get to look at not necessarily everything, but you, you get a little bit of a selection. And not to mention, sometimes I'll film a video strictly on junk silver or just a couple days ago, strictly on larger denomination 
silver bars. So I keep a little bit of everything on hand, or at least easier for me to access for when I'm filming videos. So I do think it's a good idea to lock up your silver. I got some comments from people uh, recently saying that they do not lock up their silver. They just hide it in a box or whatever, and whatever the case may be, I'm not going to sit here and tell you what to do with your money or anything like that. But for those of you who are on the fence about, eh, is, it, is it worth getting a safe? Is it really worth it? In my opinion, yes, absolutely. You know, if something were to happen, if somebody who's not supposed to be in your house figures out a way to get into your house, ransacks the place and finds a shoebox full of thousands of dollars worth of gold and silver, guess what they're running out the door with? That right there. So I filmed videos in the past talking about safes and why they're important and I think it's pretty self-explanatory I mean it's in the name safe it's safe <laughs> so I think it's crucial to lock up your silver and don't cheap out that's my recommendation that's not I'm not telling you what to do with your money but I would recommend not cheaping out don't be like eh, you know what I don't have all that much I'm gonna go with the small safe the lighter one I would go bigger, and the reason for that is because eventually, as years and years and years go by, you're going to fill that bad boy up with, you know, coins, rounds, bars, silver, gold, money, self-defense. That thing is going to get filled up over time. So it's better to spend a little bit more money, in my opinion, on a larger safe than eventually down the line having to buy a whole nother one. So... That's just what I recommend, and another option, many people do this as well. Once you get your safe, bolt it down to the floor in a hidden area, not in the corner of your bedroom. There's a lot of different places you can hide a safe, and it's a really good idea to bolt it down to the ground. Without even bolting it down to the ground, a lot of safes are you know, 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 600 pounds as it is. But if it's bolted down to the ground, it's not only going to be incredibly difficult to move due to the weight, but it's going to be nearly impossible to move. I don't want to rule it out entirely and call it impossible because if there's a will, there's a way. But, you know, if somebody's in your house and they know that they're not supposed to be there, their number one objective is to get out as quickly as possible, and they're not going to have time to figure out how to break open the safe or move the safe or remove it from the ground or whatever the case may be. So I do think that it's a good idea to cover all bases. Get yourself a nice, heavy safe. Figure out what safe is probably the best size realistically. And I would recommend going one size bigger than that. But that's just my opinion. This is not financial advice or anything like that. I'm not telling you what to buy. Make sure you do your own research and make your own decision based off of your findings. But with all that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe for new videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also, make sure to subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive content. Just posted a brand new video last night so please go check it out it's regarding the whole youtube fiasco and if you guys want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way please consider getting yourself some dyds merchandise we got t-shirts we got hoodies we got a bunch of gear that's raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations as well as the brand new dydss military tee which is raising funds and awareness for military with PTSD, which is a nonprofit organization actively working to improve the lives of our veterans. So if you want to help out, if you want to show your love and support, if you want to chip in, it'll be the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments. Do you lock up your silver? Do you keep your silver maybe spread out in different safes, maybe different floors of the house or different rooms or Maybe if you're in the position, completely different houses, different properties. How do you lock up your silver? Do you have a safe? What safe would you recommend? 
And what are some other tips and suggestions and recommendations you can give me and other people watching this video on how to cover all bases and be as safe as possible? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.